51. A couple more reds needed to secure the frame. A really big break on here. The high so far, 136, Graham Dot. There's a £500 high break prize in each group, and it's under threat here from Lee Hang. If he were to clear the table with blacks for all the reds and the six colours, it's a 140 on, and that is a good target for the high break. 52. by 35 42 with the black so not that much more to do to secure this frame well he made a few errors in the first frame but in this frame just needed one chance and he's uh, well, opting to try and disturb again, the race. taking it out very impressively Finished and he's on this red he's a little close century. to it he's going to need the long stuff of league. Playing some great snooker here, the Chinese. Doesn't fancy that, I don't think. Generally, this season, the Chinese players have really proved their strength well, in depth. It's not at all it. been about Ding Jinhui. He's going to need he did extension win the World on that rest since then. And on his cue, his form has tailed off pretty dramatically. But there's been other well, Chinese players. Doesn't, doesn't fancy it. It may finals, just be safety. Yang Tao, Chao Yupeng. Got a 42 point, point lead. Finalist like Li Hang. We've seen the Zhu Yu Long already win the first group here. Well, it's gone for an ultra thin earlier cut. this month. <laughs> that's a great pot. <coughs> and it's a great pot where that came from. And so look at the position as well. well that's a great recovery a shot. In, if you like, where the Chinese contingent had made their move. He's still on this 140. So. Li Hang needs another red after this yellow. And should be Wandle in front. Well, it's really thin, that red. I wasn't even sure if it was cuttable, but, uh, well, it obviously was. Seventy. Oh, that's a shame. He's missed the black on the century. So, 98. Still a great break, but not the highest. Not even a century in the end. And he's a little disappointed about that. He wanted the century. Even so, he's won the frame. And he's levelled up at one each. 78. Now then, they're still in the second frame on table two. Michael White still leading Ben Wollaston 1 0. It's obviously a bit of a scrappy frame. White in front by 19 points. 85. So a chance for Judd Trump to make his 52nd century break of the season. 86. It's got to be said, things starting to look a bit bleak for Ben Wollaston. Yet to get a point and possibly about to go 2 0 down in that match. Got in with a trademark long red. Even if White wins, he's still in trouble. This is but sort at least of match he gives this will be a chance. It's going to be great. It's going to be great potting. It's just be a question of who actually so gets one nil, in. So 1-0, possibly 2-0 the there. It's 1-0 all the here. Lee Hang, a break of 98 Mr. century. Black with a big break on, a big century on, but even so, at least he's levelled up. Century number 511 of his uh, career. Made his 500th here earlier on in the Championship League in Coventry this month. Mark Selby had actually done the same a few days earlier. Well, delightful stuff from Trump. 120. 120 clearance to kill off the first frame in no time at all.
Michael White was in earlier on, but it's Judd Trump who made the decisive contribution. Now then, this is still going, this match next door. On table one, Graham Dot and Ricky Walden have been going a while. Nearly two hours, actually, and it's 2-2. Two -two. And you can see it's early stages of the decider. Ricky Walden, 19 points in front. <coughs> yeah, we're getting to the, the crux of this group now. Martin Gould currently top with four points. Then we have on three, Lee Hang and Judd Trump. Graham Dot and Ricky Walden on two. Michael White one, Ben Wollaston zero. So Walden here, if he won this match, of course he and Dot both on two points, if he won this match, he would actually go into the playoff positions. So uh, you can understand why it's as cagey as, as it is. They both know the importance of it. Both on two points. So whoever wins the match will be in the playoff spots. For now, anyway. So he's in again. Just a few errors in the first frame prevented him winning that one, but he put it right in the last one and looking super Great. confident here. Michael White. Well, Michael White in the end had to sit out that 120 clearance from Judd Trump. This is frame two. Trump's now had four centuries in this group. Wow, another Judd Trump special flies in. <laughs> Michael White sits down with a slight look of resignation already, even though Trump's only potted one ball. Yeah, from his vantage point, you can see he's on the one to the left centre. Well, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not on it. No, it's very tight, isn't it? If he was on it, he'd have potted it by now, I'm sure. Might be able to slightly swerve it, but that's risky. Well, I think he is playing it with a little bit of side. No, just a safety. Trump, eight. Well, disappointing for Trump after such a good initial red. Well, we talk about Judd Trump being a great long potter, which he is, but Michael White also a great natural talent, as evidence with that one. So now he's in. <coughs> Got to stay in. Got to try and produce the form he did against Ben Wollaston earlier on when he made two centuries. He's currently in the relegation places, but he can still get himself out of it. He's got another match to play after this one against Ricky Walden. Once again, he's got the black on its spot, pink available as well. So another big, big break looms here.
thirty. Well, he's running out of loose reds now, so it's not straightforward this because he slightly lost his way as well. He's had to go down for bulk colours. Just checking to see there may be a two ball plant in the middle of that cluster to the left corner. That would certainly help because that would open everything up. What? He has an angle here from the black to go into the cluster. Well, if he's played on it, he's not got close enough. Didn't screw back far enough. Missed them though, just glanced off the pack. And didn't get lucky. He could have landed on that red on the bolt line, but 21. wasn't to be. Just didn't arc the cue ball into the pack as intended. Off that top cushion. So he leads by 44 in this third frame. Michael White, I can tell you, leads Ben Wollaston 2-0 on table two. Well, Walden's opened the reds up, but he's left one on. Had a bit of a... So it's one good pot and position. Bit of a thrash at that, really. You feel it's going to be 2-0 to... It could have so The white's come to rest close to the right-hand side cushion. So Trump, uh, he can take this red on, but it's tough from where the white's finished. Although we know what a great potter he is. Yeah, but it was just made more difficult. So that strategy has worked for Michael White. He's got another chance here. Same applies though, he's going to have to soon get into the pack. Failed on the first opportunity to do that when he just glanced off them. One. He was very hesitant on that. He took a long time over it, and in the end, he got nowhere near the pot. Now then, there's a red on to Four. the right centre with the black waiting. Again, he didn't want the white there. On the side cushion. Could play down, though, for the red to uh, two reds that are just off the top cushion. But has misjudged the shot. So it looks like a safety. No. Got to be so exact to those middle pockets. Black white. No. So it's a couple of times he's been in, but he only leads by 22 points. Same applies to the left centre if Lee Hang's considering taking this one on. missable this because he's screwing the white back for the black yeah because he was going well with that's pace, opened the all the reds back. up which that was always when Trump's about and worse. it's actually quite a dangerous case scenario has happened he's left it on this he's is not shy about taking on a long to pot. Get he's not shy about knocking in a long pot either trailing by 44 but Good chance here to counter-attack. I can tell you, meanwhile, Michael White is, is going to—he's going to beat Ben Wollaston 3-0. There you go, and that so little Wollaston knuckle now really struggling. It's worked out nicely. He's on the yellow. He's going to have to win his last yeah, two matches, and that, even that might I think not that be enough. would have kept running into Bolt, but what a chance! As I say, White's opened the reds up. Could be Judd Trump who takes advantage. In the first frame, he made a break of 120. Three. Chance for more of the same here.
चल Just going back to Michael White, he's actually had two centuries in that match against Wollaston, so uh, fine performance by the young Welshman today. Still needs uh, more points on the board, that's his first, but even so, good form to show in his first match of the day. Well, it's obviously tight for the black. I mean, he's behind the pink for the yellow pocket, but pretty sure he played on the black. <coughs> well, that shot has brought that red out into play, and this is looking like uh, yeah, a good he's chance missed the pink now. So just that one. What a chance now red for Lee Hang. 29 right points in front, cushion. with plenty to go out to and take he will a need two that red. lead. At the moment, that's looking like Michael White's only real security. T1. This red is frame ball. Remember, he needs both reds. And well, it, it certainly could have gone either way. Ricky Walden had his chance, but missed that pink to the yellow pocket. To whether he wins and the frame. Lee Hang at this visit sure takes a 2 lead. to take a 2 1 lead. So it looks like he's going to drop onto it just about there. If he gets there, then you'd fancy him knocking it in. But it's all about the position here. We've had a long look at this. So it's all on this red. He leads by 31 if it goes in. White needs snookers. If he misses, then it's about where the red finishes, because all the colours are just about on their spots. And he's, yeah, he's going to have to play it right handed, handed does which is not his natural hand. Top of the table again. Well, well, he's getting the rest out. And two Doesn't matches have to still to play. Of course, he points, could play safe, but it is frame which, ball. Which uh, pretty much confirms him in the semi-finals. Got it. Concentrated fully on the pot, and as I say, even without the colour, White needs two snookers. And in goes the black. So Judd Trump, again a long red. And again, a quick kill from the Bristolian. 61. This is a very talented left-hander. Once again, producing the goods in this so championship uh, league. He's won three times. The pink has given Lee Hang. Right now, he's playing third for a place here. in the playoffs Ricky tonight. Walden did have a great chance, start here. He needs two nil costly for him. 20 and 61. 
Lee Hang, as I say, looking to get to four points. It's not inconceivable that this match could be over before that uh, Walden, uh, Ricky Walden Graham dot match. They are deep place into the decider. Walden coming Walden in 38 in front, so dot needs a snooker. Although Michael on White, last with his victory, will have just two gone two. in front of him for now. And dot so going to find half from there in the relegation zone. Snooker, so this could be the end here, depending on where the red finishes. It goes on points one. Well, it's okay. a point. He's got away with that. Per match one. Then it's, it's been frames going a long one. Time. Over two hours. Most frames won, then least frames lost. And but if Ricky it's a tie Walton between two players, it's who beats who in that match. Leapfrog to decide the fourth place in the table for now. League placings. After that match, it'll be Lee Hang against Ben Wollaston. And here on table two, the next match will be Ricky Walden against Michael White. Frame four, Lee Hang two one up. He needs one more frame from to Dot. register so his not fourth necessarily over yet. consecutive victory of this sixth group of the championship Ricky league. Walden, uh, 38 in front, 35 on, but snookered. Judd Trump's a break. Well, Judd Trump has had breaks of 120 and 61. He leads 2-0, one more frame to take his fourth point from the six matches that he would have played. This is his last, last group match. Obviously, White has another one to come against Walden. Michael White knows uh, what he already knew, really, which is he can't afford to leave Trump a long pot on because he's been knocking him in, making the breaks in this match. Well, he's taken another one on. Oh, this time it's not in. Now Michael White knows he's really got to try and put something together now. Keep Trump in that chair as long as he can. This red is cuttable to the middle. But there's pressure on this black. If he's going to take this on, White close to the side cushion. It's a big shot for Walden, already 2-1 down, to a player full of confidence. He knows how well Lee Hang is playing, how well he's queuing. Eight. So it may be uh, time to look elsewhere. Can't blame him for that. Fifty. Ricky Walden has beaten Graham dot three two on table one, so uh, the morning session finally comes to an end. Six. And uh, Walden's gone into fourth place, he's leapfrog dot for now. They've each got one more match to play, Dot plays Ben Wollaston, who's bottom of the table. Walden plays this man, Michael White. Michael White is trying to make this match closer. Yeah. 
tonight. Oh dear, I think it's just not happening for him in this match. That was a, a definite chance. It doesn't look like he's left anything, but even so, he's only scored 29 from what looked like a, a good opening. Well, this looks a good shot. Really good safety. He's blocked off most of the reds, although not all of them. Well, as we saying, he hadn't left anything. I mean, he hadn't left anything easy, but Trump is just on the, in the mood to just knock everything in at the minute. What a pot that was. And he's on the green. Well, that could be the winning shot, potentially. He's got the reds beautifully split. Ten. I think he is on this one with the black waiting. And then it's just a question of staying nicely in control and in position. And it could be over this match. Eleven. We've only been going about 35 minutes. And Judd Trump with the balls at his mercy. Michael White again was in first. Just made 29. Well, he got close Trump's to it. made 120 and 61 already, so what a chance to win it. The Reds have opened up, so first player to get in here has a chance to do some damage, Eight. but it's, of course it's the getting in that's the problem. Just to say, uh, Martin Gould and Judd Trump getting underway on table two. That could be a, a blink and you'll miss it affair. Nice. Trump was excellent last <coughs> night. As Walden knocks the first, uh, or actually his second red in in this frame, but again, it's not finished great. The previous time he had that tough black, which he didn't fancy. 24. And again here, it looks like close the shop time. Twenty-five. Oh, but he hasn't got to the brown. He was trying to tuck in tight behind the brown and snooker Lee hang on all the reds, but didn't uh, do that it's a bit of an error that because where the reds had fanned out and opened up there was a chance that Lee Hang in escaping from the snooker could leave something on but he's not snookered that's the problem he may even take this red on oh and again he got close to it But it's worked out for Walden because Lee Hang taking the red on and missing has given Walden a chance. Sport. So he lost that earlier match to Martin Gould 3 2, oh, but he's played with much more freedom in this one. <coughs> but nicely done. <coughs> and he's not, not got much more to do to win this one as well. 54. It's already up to 54. 25 the lead. A couple more reds required for Judd Trump to complete a whitewash. 55. I think Walden would see this as a good chance. And one he's got to take, really. He's playing a very hungry, confident, and determined send him opponent in the shape of Lee Hang. Sixth. 
But Walden's a man with plenty of experience. He's won three big ranking more titles. Frames than Martin Gould, former top 16 player, is a semi finalist of the World points. Championship 2013. Five years ago now. He's in big trouble. He's still sixth. Was and runner uh, up in uh, Group 5 like earlier this Michael week. White. Just to uh, recap this competition the players now. through to the winners' group, five of them so if far. if he beats Ricky Walden in the next match, we've got uh, Zhu Yu Long. The most frames you can get is Mark nine. Selby, Karen Wilson, Ali Carter, and Mark Williams. It's a great lineup already. And Graham Dot's already got ten. But no such worries for Judd Trump. He's turned on the style in this match. can still make a second century. The obviously problem with the green here. Oh, this is a great effort. Just didn't quite get the okay. intended cannon. You can see he's a bit disappointed. He wanted a century. So a swift 78 and Judd Trump beats Michael White.